And we're back with Governor Mitt Romney, the 2012 Republican nominee, of course. Governor, I want to ask you about the future of the Republican Party. Uh, my analysis of where Republicans are seems to uh, reflect the split, the tension within the party. On the one hand, you have got Republican governors. There's 30 of them. They're actually governing out in the states. At the national level, however, you have a Republican Party that seems more fixed on opposition, opposition to the Obama agenda, which they, of course, would defend as being the right place to stand against bad policy. But that tension has uh, uh, real consequences in terms of whether the party can become a national party again at the national level. Can they get the White House back? How do you view that tension? You've already said you think the strategy on the defunding, uh, on the government shutdown was wrong. How does that tension resolve itself? What's your prescription? Well, I think what you're going to see is without a, a, a president to, if you will, discipline our own party, uh, you're going to have a lot of different voices taking the party or wanting to take the party in different directions. We're going to listen to that as a group of voters, and ultimately the, the people are going to be able to make their decision. I, I, think, I, I think you'll find that we will be very anxious to choose someone as our nominee in 2016 who we think have, has the best prospects of actually winning and getting the country back on track to create jobs again and to give the American people the prosperity and the hope that, they, that they're, but they've been looking for. Isn't this the issue? Look, the reason there is a Tea Party right now goes back to President Bush. I actually think it goes back to the beginning of a more robust security state. After 9-11, the government expands to deal with security. There's also Medicare Part D. There's a lot of uh, government spending. And then there's ultimately the bailouts, which conservatives start to rebel against. And then President Obama continues that. And the answer has been... John McCain in 2008 and Mitt Romney in 2012. And there's a lot of conservatives who say, hey, guys, that's the wrong approach. We got to have more conservative nominees if we're going to get really get healed in this party. They're not the answers. And yet you seem to be doubling down on the idea that electability is key. But there's ranks in the party saying, no, we've got to get back to our conservative roots. Well, electability and conservatism, I think, go together. I think you you have a party which is conservative, and in my campaign, I think I made it very clear how I was going to get America working again, how I'd get us ultimately to a balanced budget and start reducing our debt. I had a very conservative platform, and and that kind of conservative platform I think is that is the foundation of any successful campaign in 2016. I just happen to think that you want to combine conservatism with the ability to get elected. You want someone who can can garner the the support of people people across the country to say this is a person I trust who will implement the kind of conservative approach that I think America is looking for. How formidable is Hillary Clinton if she's the Democratic nominee? Can a Republican nominee beat her? You know, anybody can be beaten. Uh, she's a very uh, well-known figure. Uh, obviously, if she becomes a nominee, we'll be taking a very close look at her record as Secretary of State and seeing what she actually accomplished and where America has gone. I think people will have to think that the last four years, last five years, have not been a great time for America's interests around the world. She's responsible for part of that. And, uh, and so she'll have a record to, to be uh, examined. Uh, hopefully, we'll have a nominee that's able to do that effectively and to demonstrate his or her own strong record record and have a kind of track record that people can look at and say, you know what, I'd rather elect that Republican person because that person could get America working again.